So if you watch him yanking on it, he's not pulling hard enough. You have to really whack it back to pull the dent out. Just be sure. Nice. Good. When taking these pins off, all you have to do is push them to the side, right? Get your dikes, put your dikes around the very tip of that thing and twist it. Okay, there's no need to yank on it or pull it. Gary here, my godfather's not used to this, but all you really have to do is just twist it and it'll come right off very, very easily. And what I'm doing here is knocking the high areas down, right? Because every time you make a dent, you're gonna have a high area around the outer area of the dent, right? So you wanna whack that down. So there are many ways to do body work, and this is one. Um, you could use a tree, you can use an I-beam in your shop uh, to put a come along around and then pull it out because you need pressure to pull out sometimes and then what we're doing here is just hitting the high area down while we have that pressure of pulling out okay once that's done then we grind up a little bit more and then we could lay our body filler on top of that all right here's i'm putting a hammer in the back of the section here to flatten it out right because the come along did a little bit of damage to that hole there pulling it out all we're doing is just bending it back together. Now we're gonna grind out the little paint areas in the back there, and we're gonna weld a couple more pins, pull those areas out, and uh, hit the high spots down as well. All I'm doing is using a screwdriver to kind of get that ridge back in there. Okay, so this is pretty much pulled out. Uh, our grill lines up nice. The only thing we got to do now is bondo it and shape it uh, to fit the grill. Double it up and then put one below it single. What we want to do is uh, scuff around here with about 80 grit uh, so our filler blends into the whole panel, okay? When you have a new can of Bondo, you always want to mix it up quickly because sometimes you're going to have a piece of glaze on there that you want to mix in to the body filler, right? And before you lay your filler, you want to make sure you blow off all of the damaged areas, all the sand, everything. You want to blow it all off. This way it's nice and clean so you can lay your body filler. All we're doing right here is sanding out the Dodge decal with 80 grit. All right, we're just going to take it down, cut it all out with 80 grit, and uh, feather it down with a 220 to 280, and then just put a thick coat of Euro primer on it, uh, a 2K primer, a filler primer. All right, then we're going to sand that down with 400 grit, and it'll be ready for paint. All right, so mixing your body filler. Now, as my dad always said, for every golf ball size of body filler that you use you want to put about six to eight drops of hardener okay I've been you know doing this for so long that I could just eyeball it just like that and as you see the way I'm laying the filler on here you want to make sure to press firmly as you as you work the panel okay sometimes it could take as much as four or five passes you know um, over and over repeat the process to get it done